Hello YouTube family! It is Denise here, aka West Coast Rust, coming at you for what I think might be week 50, gastric bypass update. Uh, it's been a while, right? I don't look much different. <laughs> um, for those of you who um, are just starting and watching my channel, I started this journey, uh, my highest weight was 289 pounds. I had joined my bariatric program on December 7th, 2012. I weighed 264 pounds at that time. And the day of surgery, March 8th, 2013, I weighed 247 pounds. A couple weeks ago, um, <clears throat> a few weeks ago, a while ago, I gave you my last weight update and that was 157 pounds. 0.5 maybe around there anyway I'm 157.5 today so I haven't lost anything um, my weight has fluctuated the lowest I have seen is 153 and a half but I don't I think I might have been not well or I, I something's wrong with the scale because very quickly thereafter I bumped right back up to 157 so um, and I've been there ever since. So my, my guess is that probably I've always been around 157. I bounced between 156 and 157. Today was 157 and a half. Um, my maintenance range is uh, for the surgeon 150 to 163. I um, <clears throat> do not consider myself to be at goal by any means. But um, I do eat a lot like I'm at goal. Um, I allow myself just about anything in moderation if I feel like it. But those times are going to be changing soon. So um, last time I did a, a real video, I think it was um, my plastic surgery consult, and I had thought about just doing um, everything at once, doing a, a breast reduction and lift as well as the paniculectomy and the abdominoplasty at the same time. But, again, times have changed. And I have decided to go ahead and pursue the breast reduction and lift, which my insurance is going to cover 100%. Um, I will have to pay my $200 deductible for the year if I haven't met it by then. But otherwise, absolutely everything uh, regarding my surgery will be covered. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is that I am obscenely unhappy with this body I am left with. I'm having some really, really serious body image issues right now. Um, really bad. Really bad. I am I knew what my body was going to look like, but I did not think that what it was going to look like would be just a smaller version of what it looked like before. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is my skin. I have a lot of skin. Um, the second reason, I think, is that I haven't done a lot of weight training. I've done mostly cardio in the last year, and I think that's probably why. So I'm smaller. Good Lord, I'm smaller. Um, today I'm wearing a size 9 jeans, and um, I think this is a large sweatshirt. <clears throat> um, I don't anticipate going into something smaller even after my breast reduction. I assume I'll still be a large, but I did buy a medium blouse today. It's a little snug on the back, um, totally appropriate though. Just um, a little snug meaning I'm not used to that. I don't think that it looks poor or anything. Um, so if you're a fan of mine um, and a friend or whatever you want to call it, on my Facebook page, which by the way is Denise Nagley, that's D-E-N-I-S-E-N-A-E-G-E-L-I, -E -E I really don't care, who knows that. Um, they, on my Facebook page I posted today that phase two is beginning today of the, you know, um, um, reshaping of me. Um, I, I've gotten a lot of weight off, 131 and a half pounds as of today, and I've been farther, but... Um, I have started talking with a good friend of mine who I went to high school with who teaches kind of a mild CrossFit boot camp type thing in Bend, Oregon. <clears throat> and he is helping me to devise a, a good kind of resistance training program to help reshape this body prior to my breast reduction and lift. Um, the reason for that is I do have a lot of fat in my abdominal area still. 
it's actually pretty much where all my fat is located now for the most part. Um, my legs are definitely not all muscular, but they are very small and um, my thighs and such. So according to Craig, and I don't know how anyone else feels about this, but according to Craig, the key to the abdomen is actually the legs. In his opinion, and let me tell you, the man's got a rocking body. In his opinion, if you can get your thighs under control and do workouts with them, your abdomen will follow because the muscles wrap around. So um, his boot camp definitely focuses on core as in lower body with, you know, um, leg, upper leg and thigh exercise type stuff. And so I'm excited to start that. Um, I'm excited to um, get a new motivation, get a new fire, and, um, you know, get this body a little bit more under control than, than the way it is. Um, with that means I have to tighten up my eating also, and um, <clears throat> although I haven't been going over, um, over on the carbs, I will have to cut them out quite a bit in order to lean down more. Um, my body needs to start burning the fat again, and at, up until now, I don't believe I'm doing that um, since probably December when I hit more of the maintenance range for the surgeon. Uh, I kind of use that as an excuse to take a bit of a mental and physical break from everything. So, um, yeah, I would like to comment for all of the people who do um, subscribe to my Facebook page. I'm fine. Um, I know I've posted a lot of crazy things in the last month or so. Um, sorry, I can't get my leg to quit shaking. I'm kind of ADHD today. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm fine. I, I want to say that. I am fine. Things are not fine in my life right now. <laughs> I won't lie about that either. But, um, but I'm fine. I'll be fine. Um, everything will be good. It'll work out. But I do need to take some time and focus on me right now again. And I haven't been doing that for a while. Um, you know, the first six months of my journey was pretty much all about Denise. And then the last six months have been not so much. And, um, and I do believe I'm suffering a bit because of that. And I believe that my journey is suffering because of that. So, um, so I'm going to be a little bit more obsessive and a little bit more, um, selfish about my time now. Um, more workouts, more time away, uh, from home probably because I'm not getting a lot at this point and, um, I'm really stressed out. Uh, work is stressful and uh, it always has been. It has not changed. It's the same. But um, I need to do something for me right now. And I know that sounds terrible, and I'm sure everyone has opinions about it, and they know that I have a special needs son. But, um, yeah, so that's where it's at. I don't know where that's going to go. I couldn't tell you, but when I do know, you all will probably find out. Uh, a couple more weeks until my one-year surge anniversary. I'm super excited for it, but also unprepared and really, really want to do something on that scale between now and then. So I'm going to put in the work. I'm not going to go eat a bag of Oreos, as Phil would say. Um, I'm not going to go eat a pint of ice cream. Um, <clears throat> I will not, and I refuse to cut out my coffee, and I will not um, cut out the cream in my coffee because I should be working out enough to, to burn any of that. So... Um, I switched from drinking like, you know, the 200 calorie skinny mochas to basically like a 30 or 40 calorie 24 ounce coffee or whatever. So a couple times a day. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching my journey. I'm so sorry I've, uh, I've been away for so long. I'm going to do my best to try to make this happen. And um, I'm excited about my future f again. And uh, I hope you guys are too. So you guys take care and be well. Be kind to each other. And remember that... Um, we're all on this together, so spread the love. We'll see ya.